Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today, I am going to work on setting up my April budget. If you're new here, thanks for joining me, I appreciate it. I'd really like if you'd hit subscribe down below. My channel is about my budgeting journey, my dividend journey, and my investing journey. And just the growth and the change and the debt pay down that I'm doing in my life. If you're a subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. I'm so excited that you're here to spend a little bit more of your time with me. I would love if everybody would take a second and hit that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. So let's get started. This is my composition book where I keep all of my budgeting information, the things that I do, my weekly budgets, my monthly budgets, where I spend my money. I even write myself some notes on things that I need to get done with my budget. And just, this is where I keep all of it. I have not bought into somebody's system. I may or may not, I haven't quite decided yet. I've looked at a handful. I like some, I don't like some, I like parts, I don't like parts. So haven't really decided yet if I'm going to actually invest in anybody's journey and in, in anybody's um, financial budget system. But for now, this is what is working for me. So I bought a sticker book quite some time back from Walmart. Uh, don't remember exactly how much it cost me, but not too much. And I help use it to set everything that I am doing. So the first thing, we need to get April's information down there. And then I like to break this into three sections, which I can't seem to find my section dividers. There they are. So the first one are going to be my bills and the day they are due. The middle section, which I'm not gonna put a sticker on, is how much I've actually budgeted for everything. And then this final section over here is gonna be the date that I actually paid it and how much it actually was. So let's get some of that in here. Date, bill, budgeted, the date, and the actual. So I try really hard to budget a little bit high so that I have a little bit of spare money left over and in case something does actually come in a little higher. So I typically start with the first and that is my mortgage. Uh, we are working on paying it down, not as fast as I'd like to, but that's because right now it's just getting its minimum payments. And I have budgeted $1,150 $50 for the budget. I think it's like a uh, 1148 or 149 something like that. So again, I budget a little bit over to make sure that I've got it. And I always pay that little bit over just, eh, why not? The next bill that I'm going to write in is the 14th, and that is the RV. This bill actually comes out of my husband's check. It's the only bill we have that comes out of his check. The rest of his check goes into all of our cash funds to make sure we have money to get us through the month. And then it goes into a couple of sinking funds. I do have a student loan, which I am putting to the side just in case. Um, April's coming up. We will find out sometime in April if the student loan moratorium is going to be lifted or if it's going to be kept. If it's lifted, which means I have to start making my payments, I've been saving, I think for the last three months, I've been setting money aside to help build up. I will pay that all down. This money will get set to the side as well. If by chance the student loan moratorium extends, that would make me happy. Um, I have to sit and think and refigure what I'm going to be doing with this, depending on how long it is extended out. I do have a credit card. Um, I right now am not, it, I have a balance on it, but it's not an interest balance. So I make sure it's paid off every month. So really it's a zero balance. I use the credit card, shh, don't tell the credit card company, I use them um, at, for every purchase I get, I get cash back. I have a cash back, I think it's like 1.5% cash back credit card. So every time I spend money, they give me money and then I set that money aside for Christmas typically is what I have been using it for. We'll see this year, I have a Christmas fund. We'll see if I can get that Christmas fund fully funded. And then if I do, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that surprise money that I have to the side. But I do have a credit card, but I make it work for me. The 17th, we have car insurance. 
Now, our, my car insurance is getting ready to renew. Oh, I'm so sad. So car insurance was about 375, 376, something like that. It's gone up to just about 400. I was not prepared for that last month. So really the payment wasn't due until April, but I went ahead and paid my first month because I try to pay it monthly and it was a little short. So oh, I'm a little sad. Uh, it has to be $410 this month. Um, next month it'll drop back down to that 400, but still, oh, car insurance, one of those evils that you have to have. All right, next, the 29th, I have my electric bill isn't due until the 29th, and I set aside $250. Typically it's less. I think last month it was 150. I think it was 150. Um, electric 157 last month so it ranges um, it has been up as high as 250 and it's been as low as a hundred so it just completely depends but I like to over budget anything that does not go into the electric I don't actually set to the side because I always put 250 to the side for the electric instead it goes into my cash funds or my or not my cash funds it goes into my sinking funds or my savings challenge so that's what I do with the extra money that's left over we have two cell phone bills I know uh, the first one is $140 and that covers my phone my husband's phone and our son no and my daughter's phone and then on the 25th my son has a cell phone plan and his is like 27 but I go ahead and I budget $30 for it so my husband takes care of all the cell phones in the house I just pay the bill my husband takes care of all the cell phones and because of that Instead of adding him to our plan, um, it was just a spur of the moment. All of a sudden, my husband was like, he has to have a cell phone now. And instead of going to our provider to get one, he just went up and got a cheap one. So we pay $30 a month, but it is what it is. On the 15th, we have our Wi-Fi bill, and that is $90. Actually, I think it's like 87 or 85 something, but at any rate, I set aside 90 to make sure that I have plenty of money for it. And then on the 17th of every month, I have a Juice Plus subscription for vitamins, and it is $51. So these are all of my, they're not variables, but they do change slightly, but these are all of my big bills that have to come out every month. And with the exception of the RV, these all come out of my check, and they're split between my two checks. We add, I'd like to add them all together to see, and that is $2,531. So this month, this actually is down from last month. Last month it was 2827 and that's because we paid the truck off. Yay! So excited about that. So let me go find another sticker. Um, I think I decided on... Did I decide on you or you? Oh, I always struggle with what sticker to put in for paid my bills or what day we get paid. So I like to track a handful of different things in here, not just what I am paying, but then some of the things that I like to set money aside for. Now, I guess I didn't decide because I can't find what I thought I was looking for. Nope, none of those. So I think we're gonna take this one. No, that one was cute. I like this one. We're gonna put this here. I also like to track my paydays. So payday, both mine and my husband's. So I get checks and my husband gets checks and I can't, oh, so stinking excited. So I get paid the first and the 15th every month. This month, I don't know about you, but for us, it, for my husband, it is a three check month. Yeah means we're going to have some extra money getting stuffed into some things. Oh, love it when this happens. It happens twice a year and April is one of those times this year. So he gets paid the 1st, he gets paid the 15th, and the 29th. Yay! Love it, love it, love it. So we get some extra money this month. All right, so next let's move. Oh, I had one that I thought I liked. Oh, I did, but I'm going to change it up. So 
I'm just me and I don't particularly I'm not fond of the things that these say on here because I don't use them the way they're supposed to be used so I'm actually going to take this one put it here and I'm going to label this goals I like to track my goals I think it's very important to write down what your goals are it helps make sure that I am held accountable for doing the things that I say I'm going to do so the first goal that I have every month is to put a little bit of money into savings. Now we have multiple types of savings. We have just a general house savings. Typically that is for our vacation. We take a week or two during the summer, we hop in the RV and out we go. So that's typically what this savings does. It also covers things in case I don't already have a sinking fund for it, or maybe there isn't enough money in the sinking fund. So this savings is like a catch all. Um, I like to put money from my check and money from my husband's check in it, and it's not a whole lot, but I also have um, savings challenge, or I have savings challenges and I have sinking funds. So that is the catch all for anything that's not here. So my check, I like to do two times, and my husband's I like to do two times, and as a little check system to make sure I've really done what I was supposed to do, I put a little box system over to the side and then I can check it off as I do it. We also are putting a little bit of money into what I'm calling retirement. Retirement really isn't, it's just a high interest savings account, guys. It's not an IRA, it's not a CD, it's not savings bonds. It's, it's just a high interest savings account. And not a lot goes in there. We just put a little bit in there at a time. Uh, actually, I just rated the retirement and paid off my husband's truck because it was better to make that payment and finish it off the interest was like 50 something cents a day versus I wasn't even earning 50 cents a month on interest. So I took one of the viewers advice and I contemplated it for a little while, waited till it got lower and was able to do that. Yay! So that's one of the bills that I'm not paying anymore. But now I have to work on building that back up because well, I've taken that money. So again, I take some from my check, some from my husband's check, I will take 20 out of mine. And I will take five out of my husband's and again, it's not a whole lot, but it's more than what was there before. And I try to stick to that motto. Something is better than nothing. I also do investing. This is specifically for my dividend investing. And I only take money out of my check for this. So I like to put $25 in each of my checks comes out. And it is to bulk up and to intentionally purchase $5 in each of the positions that I own. Now I own 24, 24, yeah, 24 different stocks, ETFs, bonds, and that $25 every week will cover $50, which is 10 stocks, 10 positions get $5. So it doesn't cover everything, but my goal for my dividend investing is to build each one up by monthly. So as long as I keep this $25, I'm do, headed in that right direction and I am able to build up each of my positions. And then I would also like to bring my debt down. I like to track that I'm bringing my debt down. So I want to bring it down at least, and this one's going to be hard for me because we've just paid the truck off. So really, I'm paying down the mortgage, the RV, possibly my student loan, and that's the only debt that I have to bring down. So I am hoping that it will come down $1,000. I'm not certain if it really is or isn't, so this one I'm a little wishy-washy on. Um, so we will see where all of that ends up, but the goal is to bring all the debt down at least $1,000. And that for me really is my monthly bills that are the same every month that I know always happen. And then some of my goals. Now I do have one more thing. Um, my daughter, we pay for her car insurance and we pay for her cell phone, but she gives us the money back for both of those. So I like to write a little note for myself so that again, I can check it off. Write a little note that I need to get money from my daughter. And I'm gonna get money two different times of the month on the first. I need to get $300 from her. And the reason is that I pay her car. She pays it, but I actually go in and pay the bill. And that's because her car and my husband's truck were on the, underneath the same lender. And since they were the same lender, 
why not just go ahead and take care of paying it while you're in there? It was already all connected. So I'm still gonna take care of that, though I'm not paying the truck anymore, but I need to get that money back from her. So I always say, hey, sweet pea, do you mind if I go ahead and pull that money? And she's like, mom, of course not, just take it. So I like to give her a heads up, but I will pull the $300 out to make sure I can make her car payment. And then on the 15th, because she gets paid twice a month, just like I do, I then go back in, pull out another $160, and that covers her piece of the car insurance and her part of the cell phone. So insurance and phone. And I just like to write notes to myself because I don't know about you, I sometimes forget what things are for, and that is why I, am, I write everything down. I mean, I've got a note page that tells me what I need to do on a handful of things. I have come to absolutely love being able to look at a weekly budget, something that I've just started this year, but I'm loving looking at a weekly budget so that I can come in and go, hmm, that's where my money went. I do have all of this in a spreadsheet. I am such a numbers nerd guy, guys. Um, and because of that, I, I love how it auto calculates everything for me. It takes care of all that math because I typically make a mistake here and there, but it also, it, it doesn't, something about that writing it down and being able to see it and this I can access anytime I don't have to wait for the computer to start up oh no it's dead again that kind of thing so just enjoy writing down what my bills are when they are due so that I have an idea of okay these are the points when I need to make sure things are paid and really guys that's it for my budget um, it's set up now I have an idea of what my bills are as we move into that first check which will be mine, I will put in here what those checks are and start really tracking and getting back into what's going on with my weekly checks every week. So just wanna say thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate that you took some time to spend with me. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.